All right, so we're back to the eggs. Um, this is definitely there, so I'm gonna cop those because I'm really hungry right now. And I'm still searching in the water to see if I see any visible signs of larger fish. Nothing as yet. But the traps are out, so let's just pray. What I'll do is to go back every now and again, rebait it, because I put the worms on, the little ones eat the worm off or the bread so I'll go back maybe like every 15-30 minutes to rebate them and um, hopefully man <laughs> hopefully Happy? I am too. Oh. Ah. Got the eggs. Oh, yo. It is probably one of the hardest I've ever worked for food. Like, my heart is pounding. I am so hungry. I know I said I was going to leave back an egg, but bruh. I'm going to take as much of that protein as I can get. You guys remember egg on spoon race? That's what I feel like. I feel like if I'm not careful, what? Drop. Dinner is gone. have food like you got kibbles of real chicken in it and stuff when I never put the wet meat in there because I'm camping you can eat it dry go on you hungry This is the real meat that they say is in it. 
<laughs> I'm so hungry I could eat it. I'm joking. got to be the most organic egg I've ever seen. They say the more yellow it is, it's the more rich in nutrients. So, yo, <laughs> it's great. Wow. So I'm just gonna add some jerk seasoning on top and I add some of those bad boys and then that will be it.
<laughs> All right, let's dig in. All right, here goes nothing. I don't know if you guys know. I can feel the surge of protein does <laughs> Fantastic. I, I thought it was gonna be like a little bit weird. Like I'm gonna be like, yo, what's this? Like, dude. But let me tell you, it tastes just like a chicken egg, except a little bit more rich. I don't know, it's like because it's so small, like everything is in, I don't know. But like with the Estelian and the garlic and whatever. Yeah, you gave it a nice bit for me. Thanks, bird. <laughs> it's so good. Honestly, those eggs blew me away. Like, I was very skeptical. I've never had quail eggs before, but I think that might have been what it's like. I saw quail eggs being sold in the supermarket for like, I don't even know, was a lot of money, probably five six of the eggs are being sold for the price of an entire tray of big chicken eggs so wow i can't wait for the others to be done like guys if you're <laughs> this is a success i think this whole uh this foraging thing went really well uh maybe later on in the evening i will uh try to get some some more guavas if i feel like it definitely want to wash my clothes and um yeah we'll take a shower and then we can wrap the video up there. Alright guys, you might know that I find you guys very, very, very important to every step of soy vlogs, right? I have been working on some memorabilia, you know, special or significant moments in the vlog that you guys might see. This one, I'm going to be working on, I'm going to call it Small Victories. You know, it's a small victory today, but for me it's a big one as well. Hopefully before this vlog is even edited, I'll have it set up on everything for you guys. I have given away a couple to my patrons. Um, I remember you seen in the last one of the last vlogs where I got some seashells. I did have those in case. So I'm going to be doing that one with the eggs for at least two lucky persons. So drop it in the comments. If you do want one, drop it in the comments and say, I want a new Odelia. If you've gotten this far in the video, I will do one for you. I'll also collect a couple other stuff in, in and around here that I've seen. Maybe like some fern or some pink fern that I see. And I'll have those in case. And I'll shoot those off. For my patrons, I'm going to do a special one for you guys. There are ferns around here, but what I really like, they have pink ferns. So I'm going to try to encase into the pink ferns, maybe get a couple river rocks as well. Do something really cool for my patrons. So if you are a patron, look out for my picture and drop a comment in the patron post so you can get one of these without even having to drop many comments like everybody else is going to have to do. Alright?
Vanella is watching out for me. Just in case anybody pass by. Right, girl? That's my girl. Woo! My God is a miracle working God. My God is a miracle working God. My God is a miracle working God. I just had to but yeah all the excitement is done in the video um, I just want to talk to you guys for a little bit and for the persons who don't like when I talk thanks for being a part of the video today and I'll catch you guys in the next one for those who don't mind I want to share something really quick now it was a great day yesterday you know found guava today was even a better day found eggs now a lot of times in our lives God gives us small nuggets to the things that we want to achieve and accomplish. A lot of the times we expect that, yeah, we're going to get this big fish right away, straight to the success. But I find often that's not how it is. You know, it's a small accumulations. Anyway, now I was taking a shower, brought the GoPro, wanted to show you guys what the experience is like for me. Got a memory card error, opened the battery door of the GoPro, forgetting that it is detachable it fell right into the water so now immediately I'm there searching for the battery door bringing up gravel bringing up gravel bringing up gravel nothing now of course anything that falls into a river generally especially at any waterfall section of the river you know it's next to impossible to find for something so small in my head I was saying you know I was disappointed I was, I was a bit sad I was like yo Jano not go buy another one no, I have to wait for it to ship and get to Jamaica. How am I going to show you guys tomorrow how to find this waterfall? A bunch of stuff kept going through my head, but I was thinking, you know, at least it wasn't the GoPro that fell into the water. That would have cost me a lot more. Other times, God is our second hand. Before I was searching with only one hand, something told me, search with two. Reaching down, reaching down, reaching down, reaching down, reaching down, reaching down. And on my final attempt, I was like, yo, I'm done with this. Literally like this, cleaving to the edge of my hand was this small GoPro battery door. And I started singing. It might sound dumb. <laughs> like, bruh, it's just a GoPro battery door. But is these small nuggets, these small mercies that I find, like, that God gives to all of us, you just have to always take notice of it. Not only when it's the big things. I just thought I wanted to share that with you guys before I turn in for bed. You guys know when you're out in the jungle or in the bush or whatever the case is, by the time we see it's seven o'clock, seven o'clock is bedtime. There's nothing else to really do. Anyway guys, thanks for being a part of this video. Shout out to all my patrons who make their donations every single month to help us to grow. Shout out to everybody that drops a comment and like the video. Remember these three things. Love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, keep the link.